Maniacs, welcome back to the channel. Your local bedhead here. We are going to be diving into another trailer, and thank gosh, because I'm excited for this one. As a matter of fact, I forgot they were even making it, and that is another Wolfman movie, and I'm not sure if this is a remake. I think they're doing a remake. I think this is going along the lines of that Invisible Man remake that came out back in, like, 2017 or 2019, if I'm trying to remember right. I think it was 2019. That kind of rings more of a bell. But the 2019 Invisible Man movie, I'm confident it's 2019, I thought was really good. I thought it took an idea and kind of, it was the same kind of concept, but a different story entirely, and it made it its in, and did something unique with it. It wasn't a just remake of what was already a very interesting concept, uh, which was the Invisible Man. It did something new with it. Lee Winnell is the one who directed the Invisible Man, Wolfman 2025. Who is directing? Uh, Lee Winnell is directing the Wolfman. Uh, so that's yeah, going along the same lines of uh, of uh, that. So very cool. I'm always down for another monster movie. So guys, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Tell me what you guys think of this in the comments down below. Uh, we're going to go ahead and dive into the snow and I'll give you guys my thoughts during and of course after the video. Here we go with the Wolfman or just Wolfman. Gotta get some nature love in there. Oh! Insect versus Insect from the director of The Invisible Man. Black phone was great. What was that thing like? It sounded like an animal. Yes! But yes. I swear to God, it was standing on two feet. Daddy, are we gonna die? No. It's my job to protect you. What's wrong with Daddy? He got sick. Blake, that is scaring me! Dude! Blake, stop! Ah! Oh. Daddy, is that you? Okay, I gotta go. I gotta go back a little bit because that this excites me. First off, I love the the way it like. Watch this. I don't know what it is about this kind of style, where it's just like the line shows up in the center of the screen. Like that reminds me so much of John Carpenter's The Thing. That's what I was thinking of. The Thing. What was that thing like? It sounded like an animal. <laughs> Okay, you can see some hair on his back, so this must be like the beginning of the transformation if I'm, a, if I'm a guessing, and he's about to turn into a werewolf, and he's running around. So cool. I like that shot. I like the shots. This seems like a simple story about a family who lives out in like in the middle of nowhere, and something bites the dad, it seems like, and he starts turning into a werewolf or a wolfman, and now he has to like fight, you know, this battle. It's like, this could be a really, this could either be really boring and dull, or it could be really intense, and and so, if the characters suck, this movie's gonna suck. That's the thing. It doesn't feel like a movie that's gonna have a lot of, like, space, you know what I mean? Like, it's not gonna be in the city, it's not gonna be, uh, it's just not gonna have a whole lot, so it's gonna be very, kind of, secluded and, and, and set in one area, which I'm assuming is their, their house, so the characters have to be so likable, because there's only gonna be a, so many amount of characters, and if the story is boring and the characters are boring, you're gonna be bored. And then you're going to be stuck with them for the entire movie. So we got to hope that the, at least the characters are very likable and cool. But I swear to God, it was standing on two feet. Daddy, are we going to die? No, it's my job to protect you. What's wrong with Daddy? He got sick. Wait. His teeth it must be fall. Ah, oh, wait, wait. That's like the only glimpse we get of him. He's hard to see from that distance. I'm curious though, because he doesn't look like he's covered in all that much hair. Which normally if you see a wolfman, he is just completely overshadowed in like, you know, wolf hair and stuff. This one, it seems like you could still see human skin. If that's like the full version of the wolfman, you know? He's scaring me! Blake, stop! Wolfman. This reminds me of like an early 2000s horror film. 
just the, I don't know what it is, the font and the way it looks, it just reminds me of something that would have came out like around that time. Daddy, is that you? Damn, we didn't get to see a whole lot of the actual Wolfman, but so far, that looks pretty promising. It doesn't look like they showed a whole lot of the Wolfman. I, I wonder if they maybe, maybe they released an image or two? Let me go to the IMDb page, Wolfman 2025. Oh, actually they might have. They actually might have released an image. Wow, one second, one second, I'll bring it up. I, I gotta get a good look at this. I'm not too sure what to think of it. I wanted to, you know, quickly kind of. It says, in theaters January 17th on the background. So like, when is the release date on this movie? Is it January 17th? January 17th. So this is what the Wolfman is going to look like. I, I don't know. It's it's unique looking. It's different for sure. And, and I'm going to give it a shot to see how it goes. This kind of reminds me of the situation, you know, like with Chucky, when they remade Chucky and everybody was kind of like, oh, that's what he looks like. Ugh. But if they utilize this enough and, and in the right ways, they can make it very intimidating and very scary. And Lee Winnell, you know, he did such a good job with The Invisible Man. I really want to give him a shot and see what he does with this. But I really liked the remake of The Wolfman from like 2014 or 2013 where, or 2011 it might have been, the Wolfman from that and then with Benicio Del Toro, he looked really cool. I, I thought the Wolfman looked awesome in that movie. And this one is kind of odd, to say the least. It's, it's, it's very much, again, a different look. It's not your typical Wolfman that you would expect from a Wolfman movie. But that's not necessarily a bad thing. I think they could really utilize it well and make it intimidating and really scary. And that's the point. You know, I want to go into this watching a really scary movie. And if this Wolfman pulls off a really great Wolfman, I mean, this could be another horror icon, right? This this version of the Wolfman. So you got to give it a shot, of course. You know, I like uniqueness and I like when people take risks. So we'll give it a shot. Personally, do I think it looks scary? It looks scary. If I saw that in the middle of the night, I'm not going to lie to you. I would shit my pants. I am I a little kind of thrown off by it? A, a little bit. I won't lie. It's not, again, it's not what I was expecting this, this thing to look like. If that is what they cho chose. And I'm assuming this is legit. I'm assuming it's going to look something along these lines. So if it does, it does. And and look, this this looks like a costume for sure. It doesn't look like it's probably going to be the, the movie quality version. So you got to keep that in mind. But it is what it is. It's fine. I think, I think it looks great. The teaser looks great. So let me know in the comment section, guys. What did you think of this? Are you guys excited? Are you not excited? What did you think of, what did you think of the Invisible Man movie that Lee Winnell directed beforehand? And tell me what you think of that. And now that I think about it, it's I think it's 2017. I'm going to look it up right now. It's a perfect time to actually look that up since I'm already looking up a bunch of stuff. The Invisible Man. It was 2020. I was wrong the entire time. It was a 2020 movie, but I was close kind of. So let me know what you think in the comment section down below, and I will certainly see you all in the next one. Please do take care. If you caught a chance, three cards, starts through. You won't be mended.